me see. Raise it a little bit. Okay. Hello and good evening. My name is Audrey Robbie, president of the Del Rio chapter of the National Honor Society. I would like to welcome everyone to this honorable event on this Thursday, April 25th, 2019, that will recognize 102 of Del Rio High School's sophomore, junior, and senior class students as an outstanding group, notable for its character, scholarship, leadership, and service. I extend my sincerest welcome to all administrators, parents, and friends of this fine group of young men and women that have worked hard to achieve this excellence. At this time, I would like to introduce the officers of the 2018-2019 National Honor Society. Please stand when I call your name. Vice President, Elena Garabedian. <laughs> Secretary, Lara Garansuay. <laughs> Treasurer, Crystal Salinas. <laughs> Historian, Samuel Sunderland. <laughs> Parliamentarian, Matthew Ortiz. <laughs> Project Chairman, Alfino Flores, who cannot be with us today, but we're wishing him luck in track. <laughs> Junior Representative, Amara Coleman. We will now have the Dario High School Junior ROTC Color Guard post the colors, followed by the singing of the national anthem and then the invocation. Please rise and remain standing for the posting of the colors and the national anthem. Now we will have the Del Rio High School Varsity Mixed Choir. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Junior Representative Amara Coleman. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we will have Crystal Salinas, NHS treasurer, give the invocation. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us be here today to honor these students who are about to be inducted into the National Honor Society. Grant them with the humility and dedication needed to succeed. We ask that you watch over them as they venture towards their bright future. May these students always show a willingness to thrive not only in school, but in life. Lord, 
bless the administrators, teachers, and parents who have guided them in hopes they would be here. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good evening. My name is Lara Garansuay, Secretary of the National Honor Society. It is my pleasure to introduce to you tonight Dr. Carlos Rios, Superintendent. <laughs> Mrs. Ida Gomez, Chef, Chief Instructional Officer, excuse me. Dr. Jose Perez, Dario High School Principal. <laughs> Mrs. Allison Mercier, Dario High School Assistant Principal. <laughs> and Mrs. Patsy Rodriguez, Early College High School Principal. <laughs> At this time, I would like to introduce our superintendent, Dr. Carlos Rios, and have him say a few words. Good evening. This is uh, just such a wonderful evening, and uh, we'll have a guest speaker in a minute, and they'll make some comments towards the students that are going to be inducted. I want to, on behalf of our administration and, and all of our board of trustees, I want to direct just a few com comments to the parents. Uh, first, to the parents, I just want to say that we all share in your joy, in your happiness, and in your sense of relief. I know that as parents, you have worked hard, you have worried, uh, you have dedicated uh, and sacrificed so much. And to know that your child not only has excelled academically and distinguished themselves from the large majority of their peers, has to be rewarding. Beyond their academic achievement, to know that they have earned the respect and admiration of their teachers who have worked hard, well, that is just uh, beyond uh, something to be proud of. To know that they are both hardworking, capable of academic achievement, and at the same time earning the respect of those that have worked for them, you have to be proud. You have to be relieved, and we share in that joy. I know that the students are caught up in everything that has to do with school and all their activities, but I also know from firsthand experience of my own kids that they so much appreciate everything that you've done uh, and just look up to you as their first role models. So congratulations for everything that you did as parents, and thank you so much for sharing them with us. I hope we have a great evening. Thank you. My name is Helena Garibedian. Vice President of, a, of the NHS. It is my pleasure to introduce the guest speaker tonight, Bruno Ralphi Lozano. <laughs> Bruno Ralphi Lozano was elected mayor of Del Rio on May 5th, 2018. Mayor Lozano makes history as the youngest elected mayor in Del Rio, Texas at age 35. He also makes history as being the first graduate from the new Del Rio High School, which was established after the two local school districts were consolidated to make our current San Felipe Del Rio Consolidated Independent School District. Mayor Lozano has been committed to public service most of his life. He served in various organizations such as Raising Awareness to Alzheimer's, Humanitarianism, Casa de la Cultura's Creek Cleanup Programs, and more. 
Mayor Lozano has also served our county when he was enlisted in the United States Air Force. Apart from being mayor, Lozano is employed in the airline industry, having traveled to over 30 countries in the past 11 years. Bruno Ralphi Lozano is a Del Rio native, proud son of Bruno and Paulita Lozano Jr., as well as grandson to Bruno and Monica Lozano Sr. and Kima and Elita Suarez. Mayor Lozano has a total of three siblings and 13 nieces and nephews. Mayor Lozano is a proud graduate of Del Rio High School, graduating year of 2001. Mayor Lozano is committed to unifying the council and the city effectively. He is committed to ensure that economic growth prevails along with international trade within our region. Without further ado, please help me in welcoming Mr. Bruno Rafi Lozano as our NHS induction ceremonies guest speaker. Thank you. Good evening. It is a privilege to be invited as a speaker to this momentous occasion. I start by congratulating each of you, your parents, family, teachers, and principals. The influence they exert upon you showcases your dedication to character, scholarship, leadership, and service. Achieving an an induction to the National Honor Society comes with dedication and sacrifice. The reward is joining an elite group of other honor students that have come before you, establishing core values that each of you carry as you accomplish the goals you set in life. Character begins with values, and you demonstrate the values of education, dedication, respect, and community involvement. These are some characters of a future leader. As you continue to grow into the future leader, you will experience achievements, losses, wins, and failures. What I have learned the most from my own personal losses and failures is how to adapt, adjust, and evolve. Mistakes and failures are life's opportunities for innovation and renewed perspective on how you define your vision. With that, I encourage each of you to lead as a member of the team. What does that mean? It means carrying the goals you set for your future organizations within you and being a part of the group. Dictators, tyrants, and poor examples of bosses might define leadership as telling people what to do and what tasks need to be done and walk away, expecting their subordinates to achieve the end result without vision. True leaders illustrate vision by leading by example, ensuring employees, peers, colleagues are treated humanely and respectfully despite their position on the rung on the ladder, which includes the janitors, the CEOs, the secretaries, new employee, and established employee. Education is wondrous and priceless. What you continue to demonstrate is your dedication to scholarship and education. While you dedicate yourselves to the academic approach to a formal education, I remind you of one fact. Life happens. And sometimes learning happens outside of school. Never forget that. As you continue to grow into adult, you may lose a friend, a family member, a teammate, or a parent. And some of you may have already experienced such a loss. But never forget, those moments in life are but temporary, and those members no longer with you are watching over you now and today at this very moment in your life. Learn to cherish every fleeting moment in life. Take time to pause and enjoy your own accomplishments. Service begins by being selfless. It does not mean not taking care of yourself. How you balance volunteering, time, and giving is never an easy task. You are examples of a minority within our society giving your time to achieve an end result, whether going to nursing homes, volunteering to clean up the San Felipe Creek, or staying an extra hour to practice for the game, concert, or dance program. You are learning what sacrifice is all about. One important perspective to keep in mind is your sacrifice may not be recognized. And that is okay. Leaders do not need continued recognition or affirmation if they are true, selfless contributors to society. Being a leader is not reserved for the elected official. Leading is a philosophy and how that philosophy is applied every day at every moment. Leading is open to all that have the values you demonstrate. Take time to pause and reflect. Take time to process what worked and what didn't. And most importantly, 
take time to enjoy life today. I congratulate all of you on your induction to the National Honor Society, and I look forward to witnessing the continued growth of the future leaders within this room. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Mayor Lozano, for your words of encouragement and your enthusiastic speech. The membership to the Del Rio High School chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by the effective demonstration of the four qualities held in high esteem by the society. The officers will now review these qualities. Scholarship. <laughs> Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Thank you. Service. My office is service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition. It is a quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school in taking the initiative in class and school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interest of others. And a leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always a need. Thus, to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. Character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each one individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is the force of character which guides one through life and, when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is a product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. 
We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibilities, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we hope to prove by example that we value character. The seniors, Camila Carvajal. Karina Delgado. Ilia Falcón. Azalea Lozano. <laughs> Natalia Manrique. Tatiana Manrique. Janelle Mijares. Emilia Lucero Reyes. <laughs> Natalie Robles. Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> Jimena Treviño. Dorian Vallejo. <laughs> and now the junior class, Yaneli Buenrostro. Carolina Cárdenas. Diego René de León. Yeah. 
Ruben Flores III. Daisy L. Flores. Catarina Nicole Fuentes. Rebecca A. Galan. <laughs> Nidia Itzel Gonzalez. Daniela Guerrero. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Gutierrez. <laughs> Lisette Gutierrez. Deyanira Lynette Hernandez. <laughs> Leana Jimenez. <laughs> Iris Kaniski. Roman Lomas. <laughs> Cynthia Magallanes. <laughs> Austin Mercier. Bernardo Mesa. Gianna Patiño. Valeria Perea. Madison Perkins. <laughs> Claudia Andrea Rubio. <laughs> Ariana Siller. Nicholas I. Torres. <laughs> P. 
Paige Weiss. The sophomore class, Stefania Alarcón. Jessica Aldape. Lauren Alvarado. Carlos Miguel Arredondo. <laughs> Mia Carmela Arredondo. Jose G. Artiaga. <laughs> Colin Benecki. Aiden Alexander Cannon. <laughs> Ana Cristina Cantu. <laughs> Dylan Casas. Emily Lynn Castro. <laughs> Rebecca Cazue Maria Chavez. Gavin Riley Dawson. <laughs> Emily Diaz. <laughs> Camden Dyer. Page Amber Everett. <laughs> Alejandra Flores. <laughs> Camila Nayeli Fuentes. Daniel N. Garcia. <laughs> Hector Dean Garcia. Javier Garcia, Jr. (laughs) 
Verónica A. García. Narda Garza. Guadalupe Gómez. Camille Elena Gonzalez. Clarissa Gonzalez. <laughs> Ashley Danielle Gonzalez. <laughs> Destiny Hernandez. Natalia Ibarra. Shalimar Juarez. Andrew Katz. Elizabeth Ann Kozlowska. <laughs> Alina N. Ladd. <laughs> Andrea Maldonado. Jocelyn Martinez. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Mojica. <laughs> Cristian Montoya. Robert Harrison Moore the third Yvette Mary Morales Annalisa Lorraine Ortiz. <laughs> Jacob Ortiz. Mia Lisette Ortiz. <laughs> Jaylene Perez. <laughs> Jay. 
Taylor Leanne Polanco. Amber Robbie. Austin Javier Martinez, uh, Ramirez, correction, Ramirez. Sorry, Austin. Brandon Rios. Jose Rios. Ana Karina Rodriguez. Michaela Bree Rodriguez. <laughs> April Lynn Rohel. Richard Roman. <laughs> Renee Salas. <laughs> Carolina Sanchez. Michael Schultz. <laughs> Gabriela Alejandra Sobrevilla. <laughs> Evelyn Solis. Emily Page Trevino. <laughs> Carolina Villarreal. Stephanie Zapata. Candidates and members, please rise and repeat the pledge.
I state your name. Being aware of the honor which is being bestowed upon me by my selection for membership in the National Honor Society. Do hereby pledge loyalty to this organization. It shall be my earnest purpose to give Unsparingly of my time and energy toward the promotion of all school activities, I will strive to be at all times a model student and will never knowingly bring reproach upon my school. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society, to which I have been selected, striving in every way, by word and deed, to make its ideas the ideals of my school and of my life. Congratulations to you all. I want to say congratulations to all our students, parents, and other family members for being part of tonight's ceremony. Parental support is extremely important to all of our members. With membership, there comes responsibility. The behaviors of our members influence the perception anyone may have of our organization. There is a challenge of being a member to continue to have outstanding scholarship, character, leadership, and service. I want to say thank you to Ms. Linda Corbell for being the reader tonight and helping me throughout the year. Also, I want to say a special thank you to Ms. Alejandra Torres, one of the faculty selection committee. I want, also want to thank the administration for the support of our organization I want to thank my officers for helping make tonight a wonderful experience for all our new members and the remaining members for helping do all the jobs that are needed for this event. Thank you. Good character, scholarship, and leadership service is more to be praised than outstanding talent. Most talents are to some extent a gift. These four qualities, by contrast, is not given to us. We have to build it piece by piece by thought, choice, courage, and determination. Thank you. Good evening, Dario students. Woo! Who's ready for the announcements? Our next meeting is Monday morning, 7.30 a.m. in the Little Theater. Now we are asking everyone to please join us for refreshments immediately following this ceremony. At this time, I want all the new members to come to the stage for a picture. <laughs> 